Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a smaller Celtic cross for this one. Let's find out together what's coming through for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you. Passion. Insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Having fun, twice. Bottom of the deck, we have axe. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Let's also pull from the wisdom of the oracle deck, guys. Message in a bottle. The fates. Star vibration. Bottom of the deck. To be fair. A justice vibration instead. So guys, let's find out what the tarot has to say about these energies. And we are ready now, definitely. Queen of Wands wanted to come out. Current situation, guys. The challenge, the moon, crowning energy, death card. Core of the situation, Queen of Swords, past energies, Knight of Swords, future energies, possible outcome, Eight of Pentacles, the focus, Five of Cups, regrets, disappointments. Bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers. A meaningful connection, uh, it can be a soul-to-soul -soul connection after all, but it is also a crossroads, a heart-overhead decision. And guys, it seems that some of you have made your decision about a connection or are going to make a decision according to the timelines of course passion is a factor that we can associate to the lovers because this can be a connection extremely powerful uh, there can be such a pull towards another individual and that's why it can be overwhelming uh, even because we are not exactly able to figure out what's going on but still there is the necessity to pay attention to something that can be different from how it seems because of the moon in the challenge. To be fair, is an interesting energy because, guys, this connection basically uh, may have suffered from a behavior that was not entirely honest because of the moon. Secrets things left unsaid and uh, this uh, mechanism this pattern has worked against the connection despite the passion the desire now the queen of wands can be a magnetic and attractive energy but the queen is intuitively guided she has a black cat as a best friend pretty cool as I usually say and she is perfectly able to recognize what's going on around her so that she can understand if it is possible for her to find success within a particular situation or not considering the ax oracle card this seems to be a decision to close a connection the death card is a revolution and the reasons are within the five of cups regrets disappointments things that didn't go according to expectations it is also fair to consider the possible scenario that is about 
discovering something that was secret because of the veil of illusion that we can associate to the moon. That's why the revolution, crowning energy with the death card, which is an energy that I personally love because it is an opportunity to sweep away leftovers from the past so that we can manifest new things moving forward. And the Queen of Swords can be the energy of communication that we can associate to the message in a bottle. We have also the Knight of Swords, guys. I just want to say that there can be a conversation. Some of you may have already embraced a major talk with a special person, allow me to say, considering the lovers. In order to... Uh, say your piece basically to uh, speak up your mind without accepting any nonsense because of the queen of swords the knight of swords can be an energy about excitement we see it in the past and so it is fair to say that the lovers maybe in the uh, very early stages of the connection was about excitement rushing in let's be together uh, sweeping a person off their feet but then the knight of swords can be about harsh words because for me the knight another energy of communication basically can lose focus of the proper choice of words in order to convey a precise message and we can run the risk to fall for arguments petty fights uh, meaningless altercations and that's why the axe oracle card stop the pattern silent treatment even the uh, possible outcome future energies uh, eight of pentacles is about focusing on those endeavors that can bring satisfaction in favor of you guys this man knows what it takes to bring to life the pentacles that are the source for his satisfaction fulfillment and even success uh, considering the fates uh, oracle card so guys let's find out a little bit more let's see the queen of wands Chariot, success. What we were uh, sharing, uh, kind of uh, speaking about the queen, she can understand if a situation can be a source of success. Uh, for me, the chariot gets the feeling like wishing upon a star, the fates, and allowing the star to guide the chariot to the place where it is supposed to be. Um, we can describe the situation as a realization that it is not possible to settle for a circumstance, a connection that we uh, recognize as something that is not enough. Let's see the moon that can be uh, about the unknown or the opportunity to discover something. The magician. So. I have to say that this combination is not uh, one that I am particularly fond of because the magician can be a powerful manifestor. It can be someone that uh, make things happen in his favor. But with the moon, it can be about someone that is not transparent when it comes to their actions it's kind of like there is a second intention and some of you may have uh, realized that uh, maybe this factor was involved within your connection maybe for example i'll give you the first example that is coming to my mind powerful connection we are extremely passionate about each other we enjoy uh, being uh, in each other's company but we are we are not considering uh, future plans, for example, um, considering the magician moon uh, combination. Maybe the other person uh, was not uh, sharing a vision uh, with you guys. And if you were trying to manifest success, it was not possible with this person. Let's see the death card. This one. Five of Wands. It can be about competition, guys. That's why the pleasure. Uh, I usually associate the Five of Wands to one of the Alicia Keys songs. People keep talking, they can say what they like. 
this can even be an energy channeled by the other person going with the harsh words uh, type of uh, consideration that we were uh, sharing a couple of moments ago uh, no interest for a five of one dish interaction that's why the death card a revolution and if it is about competition still valid the same point not interested in the competition game uh, for um, someone that does not share a vision with us Queen of Swords, Six of Pentacles fair and fair exchange to be fair, meaningful energy um, the Six of Pentacles for me should be manifested in the proper way in order to avoid to face the one man up, one man down dynamic for example someone that takes advantage of another person and you will stand your ground with the Queen of Swords in order to um, grant in your favor the respect and the fairness that you deserve. Knight of Swords, King of Wands. We have matching energies considering the Queen of Wands. So the connection was on fire. The energies are meaningful about that the connection was driven by passion insane chemistry like each other equally having fun in the early stages we can say that but then it's a kind of like we we discovered we realized that uh, the goals uh, were different and it is fair to say that that was the, the deal breaker, if I can speak properly. So guys, uh, Eight of Pentacles. I almost had multiple jumpers. Two cards for the Eight. Eight of Wands, Cupid's Arrows, Arrows of Love, Energy of Communication, Message in a Bottle. And Seven of Wands, Resistance. This is a defensive stand, you shall not pass. But this is about virtues and values for me, because the man is embracing a brave stand in order to protect something that is meaningful for him. It can be about virtues and values. Is this just a game? A game of passion? If that's the case, I am trying to manifest a success that is way more meaningful way higher because the chariot again aims at a star for me bottom of the deck we have the sun the opposite of the moon of course goes without saying but this is about clarity guys the sun starts from within it is about inner happiness for me the bravery of a person to uh, figure out where their happiness truly is and how it can be possible to pursue it and when we find a match, a real match, we can share a gift in order to pursue further happiness together. So guys, some more Oracle cards for guidance considering these energies. We get three cards. Yes. Let go. The first one kind of makes the point. Um, the other person was not able to match your your expectations, allow me to say, or your aspirations when it comes to the connection. Don't stop can be about the chariot. Pursuing success, I cannot I cannot waste time and energies in a situation that I have understood cannot go the distance. This is the point and this is the best possible way that I can find to explain uh, the concept to you in English. I hope th that you can get it. Perfect timing, guys, which is a Wheel of Fortune type of vibration. Um, this connection has brought to you some type of a test, which has allowed some of you guys to learn a major major lesson because the wheel of fortune can be about lessons after all and 
it is for, for a higher good because basically this can be the chance to pursue um, new endeavors that can offer in your favor the opportunity to fulfill wishes and to achieve success in order to be as happy as you can but the other person of course needs to be on the same page and it cannot be just a matter of ah let's be together and let's forget about uh, what happens tomorrow you know it's kind of like aiming at something more um, reliable uh, consistent stable these are the words that are coming to my mind and so the quest continues basically so guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful uh, let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye